it touched me on so many levels. Um, this guy is trying to um, be given a chance. And I wondered if it maybe took you back to either when you were trying to get Spider-Man and you had to prove yourself, or after Spider-Man to get this role and you had to convince people, this is me, I can do this. I think the difference is that I've been so lucky in my life that when I've really pushed myself and when I've worked hard, I've received great love from people. You know, I, I worked really hard to audition to become Spider-Man and then I got the part. And then I worked really hard to make the film great and people loved it. And then I worked really hard on Spider-Man 2 and I got this job. Whereas Nico or Cherry is working really hard to make his life great, but can't catch a break. And people keep treating him with such disrespect and they keep talking down to him and, and he can't, he can't break out of this cycle of being on the bottom. And I think that's why he decides to join the military and have a fresh start and try and make a life for himself. And unfortunately through a series of events, his life goes down a path. I'm sure he wish he'd never went down. There is a line of so many great lines that says, um, when I saw you, um, it made me say, yes, this is what yeah. I came here for. What right. do you say? Yes, this is what I come here for. There's loads of different things. The main thing for me is friendship. I'm very lucky in my life to be surrounded by people that I can call my best friends. And I love being with them. I love being surrounded by them. And the beauty of it is that we all work together. So when we're on set and we're laughing and we're joking, that's when I have those moments of, yes, this is why I do this for a living, because I love these moments. Um, but for Cherry, in that moment, he is referring to the love of his life, that is Emily. Um, and it's a beautiful line. I try to remember is Can you remember the first time you look back to the one that you've loved the most and remember exactly what it was like? Not as if when you were or where she was. I don't remember. I'm <laughs> sorry. I was trying. I was trying to think of it in my head. But um. But yeah, I I love that line in particular, and uh, I think that line is out of the book. Um. But it's it, there's loads of poetry throughout this film, which I think really really elevates it. Ever a time when you were young that you maybe stole something? That I stole something? Oh yeah, yeah. When I was a kid pick and mix and stuff from the cinema but nothing serious i never stole from like a like a like a shop or something what was the most difficult thing about this character because it's so complicated what was the most difficult thing to shake off i think the most difficult thing was navigating the time frame um this film spans over a long period of time and having five or six, I think it's six different chapters throughout this film, making a distinguished difference between each version of this character throughout the process of his, of his life was really complicated. But then I was just lucky to have the Russo brothers there guiding me through that process. Um, but I'd have to say that that was the most complicated part. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. You too.